This is our second video on Prim's algorithm. The algorithm allows us to find a minimum spanning tree of a network. In the last video, we applied the algorithm given a graph. This time, we're going to use a distance matrix to find a minimum spanning tree. If you haven't seen the last video, please check that one out as it's got some key learning points and definitions in. In the question, we're asked to apply Prim's algorithm to the distance matrices below. So this is an example of a distance matrix. It might represent the distance in kilometers between towns. So town A to town B is 15 kilometers, A to C is 20 kilometers, A to D is 34 kilometers, and so on and so forth. We're asked to list the arcs in order of selection and state the weight of our tree. The advantage of PRIMS is that we can put large amounts of data in matrix form. We don't have that advantage with an, uh, an algorithm such as CRUSCOR's algorithm, which we'll look at in a later video. So let's go ahead and apply the algorithm. Unless instructed otherwise, we can start at any node that we want. So these are the nodes A, B, C, D, E and F, or the vertices. And I'm going to choose A. We select now the column with A in. So here's our column, here are our rows. Above A, I write 1. Once I've done that, I delete the row with A in. So this is the row with A in, and I delete it. So we select any node, we write one above it and then delete the corresponding row. At this stage, I now look down the column and find the lowest weight. We can see that the lowest weight of 15, 20, 34, 25 and 9 is 9 and that corresponds to the vertex F. At this stage, we now highlight or circle F and we go to the column with F in. We write 2 above F and then go ahead and delete the row with F in. This tells me now that I've connected A to F. So the arc AF is the first arc that I've added to my tree. So I'm going to state 1. So what I've done here is connected A to F. And A to F has a weight of 9 units. At this stage, I now need to consider the column with A in it and also the column with F. Again, I'm looking for the lowest weight, 15, 20, 34, 25, 14, 22, 40, 31. We choose 14. That is of lowest weight. So I'm going to select 14. And that corresponds now to B. So what this is saying is the arc FB is 14 units. PRIMS is what we call a greedy algorithm. All it does is considers now the best option at any given time without considering further consequences or future consequences. So I've chosen 9 here because it was the best at the time. Now it's not suggesting that long term it would have been the best, it's just the best we've got at that time. And the same here, 14 is the lowest weight. So what I'm going to do now is select B. I'm going to select B, I'm going to write above it 3. So we're going to select B and we put 3 in. So now I'm going to go ahead and delete the row with B in. We can now add the arc FB or BF to our minimum spanning tree. So what we'll have then is 2. That will be now BF and BF will have a weight of 14 units. Remember, in the last video we said if we have n vertices then we have n minus 1 edges or arcs. So here we can see that we've got a total of six vertices or nodes, so we should have five arcs connecting them. Let's go back and apply the algorithm. So we've got a choice of 20, 34, 25, now 36, 38, 28, and 22, 40, and 31. So all I'm doing is looking for the lowest weight of the columns that we already have now in our minimum spanning tree. So let's have a look at this then. I've got 20, 34, 25, 36, 38, 28, 22, 40, and 31. We can see that that is 20. So I choose 20, and that corresponds to the arc AC. So what we do is go ahead and select this. So I'm going to select C. I'm going to write the number 4 above it. So let's write 4 above there, and now we go ahead and delete the row with C in. So we're going to keep applying this or simply running through this process until we've connected 
all of the vertices. So we can see from here now that the third choice is going to be AC and that's going to be 20 units. So let's have a look now. I'm looking at column A, I'm looking at column B, I'm now looking at column C as well and of course we've got column F. 34, 25, 38, 28, 43, 38, we've got 40 and 31. We can't consider these two as they're not selected at the moment. So by the looks of it, we've got now the lowest weight is 25, and that corresponds to the arc AE. So what we're going to do is go ahead and select E. We'll select E. Above E, I'm going to write 5. So let's do that. That's going to be 5. That is the fifth connected vertex. I now go ahead and delete the row with E in it. I'm going to add this now to my minimum spanning tree and we can say that the fourth arc added is going to be now AE and that's 25. So we've got AE and that's going to be 25. So 25 units, whatever that is. As you can see now, we've got simply one of these rows left and we've got Dejas here. So all we need to do is choose between 34, 38, 43, 26 and 40. 26 is of lowest weight and that corresponds to the arc now A, uh, E, D. Now technically we should have said we look down the columns but as you can see it's the last one left. So what we do now is select a D. We write above this now 6. So we'll write above 6 and then we will now delete the row. So we can see that that corresponds to the vertex uh, E and D. So we're looking at the arc connecting them. And that's going to give me the fifth arc. So let's put that there. That's going to be D, E. And that's going to be now 26 units. So this is what we have. So we're asked now to list the order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can see now that we've got five arcs, six vertices, which gives us what we want. So we want to find now the lowest weight or the minimum weight. 9, 14 is 23, 43, 68, 91. So 91, 68, 94, let's write that, 94. And that's going to be 94 units. So I've just added that up. 13, 43, 68, and then we're going to have 94. So that's what it is. Let's draw one possible configuration of this. So let's just put some uh, let's just put some vertices out here. Let's grab these up and we'll just make it look something like so. Okay, so let's uh, let's just say now that it looks. So we, how many do we need? We need six, don't we? So let's just put six here. So what we might have is something looking like so. So let's label these up. And we might be given, this one is going to be A, so let's do uh, A, let's do B, let's do C, let's do D, E, and then let's do F. So what we can see is that we've got A to F, so let's connect that up. A to F is going to have a weight of 9. We've got now B to F, which has got a weight of 14. We've got A to C, which has got now a weight of 20. We've got A to E, which has got a weight of 25. And then we've got D to E, which has a weight of 26. So this is one example of now the minimum spanning tree. I prefer just to move this over here and just make it look a little neater. But again, uh, let's just, in fact, we'll just swap this over and just make it just look a touch nicer. But essentially, this is what you've got. So if you had now a graph, this would be a minimum spanning tree. So let's make that B, and then we'll just put now the arc between them. So there we go. That is an example now of a minimum spanning tree given a distance matrix and applying Prim's algorithm.